Okay, what we want to show y'all is some of the things that we face here in our garden in the south. Y'all may not face this in other parts of the country. We would really like some input as to maybe an organic control for this problem. But we have a, what's called a mole cricket problem here. And if we can, I want to show you what we look at. Our plants, we have beautiful plants, but they're, they're eat off at the ground right here. They're just, and they'll die. You can see where they've, they tunnel. They just make all these little tunnels everywhere, and they just go from plant to plant, eating the plants off underground. They destroy our crops here, and we don't want to use a chemical if we can help it. They pop out every spring. They burrow deep into the ground, and they stay there over winter. And as soon as the soil starts warming up, these things just pop up. They have almost ruined four rows over here to, if Wanda can show you there, there's hardly no, any beans left. They've eaten almost all of them, and we've had to go back and replant. And now they've started working on these bottom four rows here. They have tunnels just everywhere, and they only come out at night to do this. They don't do it during the daylight hours. And it is a cricket. But it's called right a now, what cricket. we're going to do is we're going to go back in and we're going to replant in between these spaces because we don't like open spaces in our garden. We like to make sure every square inch of ground is being utilized. So that's what we're fixing to do. There, they chewed it off. There's another prime example right there. And see this one, how pretty. And look right at the ground they've eat the base okay I've dropped seed we've planted them pretty thick right here in case they get them again and Danny's coming along just lightly covering them Always back tap your hoe like that because you make good soil contact with a seed where to come up. So we've got these few little skips done. Now we've got to start the painful process that Wanda don't like and that's called thinning. Wanda gets all bent out of shape when I start thinning. This but is our corn. This Look. is the sweet corn that the planter planted. You cannot grow corn it looks like this. It, it, just, it just won't work. But um, he's killing me. Look. you got to come in here you got to make some decisions about what you're going to leave and what you're not going to leave. But the chickens get this. Yeah, it ain't like it goes to total waste. I mean, sweet corn needs a spacing in between it. Um, now, if you've got real rich, wet soil, um, a lot of times sweet corn will do a lot better. You know, you can leave it a little bit thicker in some places, but in our climate, because of the heat and the way things is down here, we, we can't do that. This stuff like this does not go to waste. It'll go to the rabbits and the chickens and stuff like that. So we don't really lose anything. And we've got to have an airflow. Yes, because in between. of the humidity. But it still kills me. I don't like to see plants have to be pulled up. I mean, I will leave some of them a little close like this occasionally in this younger stage. Just simply because we never know if the mole crickets is <clears throat> gonna come in here and, and try to destroy some of them. But when you got them like this right here, you can't, you know, you just can't leave that many. And we don't mind feeding ours to the animals because ours is seed that we saved. They have no kind of chemical treating on the seed. A lot of times, the sweet corn that you buy has been chemically treated to keep it from rotting in the ground because you plant it in such a cool weather. We don't have to worry about that. And now for the next ones. We've got to get the corn here more like single file. And this is the onions. Can you see that row? 
this whole little row bull is bull bunions. And they're almost a perfect stand. I don't see but maybe one little skip in them all, all the way. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to spend the day fertilizing, looks like. Yeah, Danny says we're going to have to add a little fertilizer to some of this stuff after we butcher these plants here and rip some out of the ground. Okay, this is what we have the little corn plants that we've pulled up out of these few rows right here. And as you can see, they're looking pretty good. We left them a little thick still, but they're more in single layers, single file. Okay, the rabbits like the corn. Smelling of it. See, they, the chicks love it. Out with the big chickens, and they're just tearing it up out there. If any of y'all have an organic solution to these pests, I sure would appreciate it, because we have tried everything we can think of to keep from having to just put some kind of harsh chemical in our soil. Yeah. 